Howdy folks, Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching. We're doing a final review, the long-term review after over one year of ownership on the Ford F-150 Lightning. This was a Lariat 511, meaning it has the roof and it has the larger battery, the extended range battery of 131 kilowatts. It does zero to 60 in as fast as 3.8 seconds. It has been a total blast and it has also had its challenges. So this is also a review of getting the Blue Cruise updated many times with finally a part being replaced. So we've had a lot of trouble with this. Uh, at times it's been borderline, well, it's been a little scary at times. Its main issue was that when I'm dry, even in a straight line at its worst times, it would even break and detect an imminent collision when there's, I'm on, in the left lane passing, and if there's a vehicle in the right lane that I'm passing, it would somehow see it as being in front of the truck and it would do some quick severe braking. So let's say I was doing about 120, it would hit down to 100 kilometers an hour really, really quickly in about a half second to a second and then, you know, go back to normal. So it was detecting imminent collisions when there was no collision to occur. Uh, some software updates were done and made it better. So we'll talk about more about that in the video uh, towards the end, but we're also doing a long-term review uh, to talk about the comfort of this. This was incredibly comfortable and we've sold it. So we'll also talk about resale value and the effect that it's ha had on, well, our budget. So we've gone ahead, we've sold this vehicle Yes, there's a loss. Let's talk about how huge that loss is, but let's also talk about the po positive points, the incredible comfort, the incredible acceleration. The This vehicle has so much space because essentially it's your gasoline-powered F-150, but with batteries underneath, which does lead to a great deal of handling and comfort. You've got the rear suspension, which is independent. Other than the Ford F-150 Raptor, this is the only F-150 that has, other than the Raptor, that has independent rear suspension. This thing has been very comfortable. And yes, we've owned a 2019 Ford F-150 Raptor. So, you know, to give you a quick comparison, the Ford F-150 Raptor in the corner has actually had more roll to it and was, yes, unbelievably comfortable when taking bumps or even jumps. I don't wanna take jumps with this with it weighing close to 7,000 pounds, but I can tell you it has taken the bumps incredibly well. Very, very impressed with how this truck takes the bumps. Uh, now let's just quickly check in. You've got all Lightnings have a five and a half foot box. That didn't cause us any problems. Of course, when towing, we lost half the autonomy uh, because of, well, wind resistance, aerodynamic drag. We have a ton of space down here. You get the little shelving right here. Any adult can fit in this, even your six foot eight or seven foot adult. You've got just so much space. The rear seat has been incredible for a baby seat. The box, got a little Ford's rubber carpet down there. Should have gone with either the plastic or the pulverized box just to protect the sides. I've loved having electricity right off the back. Originally thought I was gonna clear trails with that, but the trails uh, at my parents, <laughs> the, the wood lot, the, far, the wood farm, uh, their domain really, yeah, about 100 hours of cutting trees, mo even moving electrical power lines that have been taken down by trees, so not great, but it's been very helpful. Getting in has been super easy with the tailgate here, just to show that to you here. Super, super easy. Power down and power up, and right here, easy access into the box doesn't get much easier than that so that has been really great uh, doing a little work around the house very easy very pleasant so we've liked this truck let's put the pedal to the metal and take it out for a drive and talk to you more about all the highs and lows what we've loved and what we've kind of even hated about this truck thanks so much for walking in, folks before getting into the test drive just don't forget please help us out we're a small family business give, give us a like a share because it does help feed and dress those poodles so a final update on the Ford F-150 Lightning before I sell it. It is selling today and I am taking a big loss, but I am very, very happy 
to say that the Blue Cruise works. Folks, if you've got something that doesn't work on your truck, whether it's a petrol powered truck or an electric truck, do work with service. Uh, I took a couple of appointments because they tried reprogramming a few things a couple times, but in the end they changed the radar in the front. It was the radar that was causing faults so that if I was driving in a straight, even, even on the highway, in a straight line, at first, before they made the updates and tried to change the software, I'd sometimes be passing just a vehicle and it would detect an imminent collision and hit the brakes and sometimes rather quite hard. And this was very frustrating. This did change my perception of the truck. Uh, otherwise, absolutely loved and loved this truck. But that was pretty annoying. That was getting on my nerves. Uh, each update and software change that they did, it did get better. It went from braking for small cars to only braking for trucks. Uh, then on the third update, it would only... Uh, trucks and bigger on the third update it was only braking for trucks that had a trailer a closed trailer so I did see progress over the time period of these software updates but now they finally changed the radar on the vehicle and it works great on the highway and I just came into work right now 28 kilowatts per hour so very efficient uh, in the winter. I was still hang having a lot of fun using less efficient BF Goodrich KO2 tires in the winter. I was actually often playing around 48, 47 let's say, to even as bad as 52 kilowatts an hour. And that's if it was extremely cold and I was still cold, pretty darn extreme with the accelerator pedal. It's tough. This vehicle is so much fun. It has such incredible acceleration that it's it's hard not to enjoy the acceleration. This vehicle also has incredible comfort, great handling in the corners, and that's due to the low center of gravity that this vehicle has. The batteries are the majority of the weight of the vehicle, and they're all in the floor, uh, which is lower than where an engine's weight. Normally, it's the engine and transmission that weigh a lot. Transmission's in the floor. Engine is not underneath the floor so this has actually been a really comfortable enjoyable experience the technology was very irritating but of all the blue cruise enabled Fords I know this is the only one that I've heard of having any issues so don't be afraid of this issue do try out the technology uh, EV is absolutely fantastic uh, even if you take one trip down to Florida let's say let's say you have a thousand a mile trip once per year well you can always rent a vehicle or if you tow a boat or a camper two times a summer you can always rent something uh, but this truck you do need to know in the winter you can yes use up uh, 30 40 percent more I was gonna say use up more fuel but be less efficient however when you tow, you're definitely gonna lose 30 to 50% rate there. And even sometimes it's surprising. Uh, 2,500 pounds in the box, next to no change in the autonomy of the vehicle. However, <laughs> if I was towing, you know, final reflections on the Ford F-150 Lightning here, if I was towing 4,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds, but the trailer on the highway with it catching in the wind, the aerodynamic drag was causing the autonomy to cut in half. So not at an incredible towing vehicle in regards to power, fun, enjoyment, ease of towing. Never have I ever had something that tows so well and so easily. However, do expect to lose half of your autonomy, half of your range. So that was, you know, for me, not an issue at all, but for many, that is going to be a problem. So I do like to point that out so that the right people buy this truck because it's a great truck to lease. Um, but if you buy it and try to sell it a year later, I can t attest to that. I paid 110. Love the sensors all around this. It keeps me from hitting other things. So I paid 110 for this, 110,000, but I leased it, at, you know, so I didn't finance the taxes. And now I'm selling it for 76,800. So a huge monumental loss, but I'm leasing. I could have waited to the very end and given back the keys, but with having this channel and wanting to bring you the latest and greatest and my desire to you know try new things, 
try new vehicles has got me moving on uh, still have a love great love for the ford bronco so stay tuned like subscribe share this content and let's see what the next vehicle to the channel is going to be we still have the ford f-150 bronco wild track of course it's a 2023 we love it we'd like to that be our long-term vehicle we still have the toyota mr2 needing some repairs and we still uh, have two 911 Porsches so we'll bring a 911 Porsche video for the one that we bought right before winter had it stored so we'll be bringing that out and presenting it to everyone on the channel thank you so much everybody thank you for watching this uh, long-term review and update on the Blue Crate Blue Cruise appreciate everyone's help and support don't forget like subscribe turn the bell notifications on and share this material so it gets out to more people and to help the channel grow thank you all for your support